I am Dom Kane and I've put together a pack of 64 presets and MIDI files for Native Instruments Massive. Uh, it's going to be available through Loop Masters soon, uh, so I thought I'd run you through a little tutorial on how I did one of my favourite patches. Hope you like. Right, okay, so I've set up a MIDI file in the background and uh, on another separate channel I've got the uh, sound which is the lead house and it's called Pluck Off. Um, and I'll just give you a quick preview of what the sound should sound like and it goes a little something like this. So as you can tell, it's uh, essentially a progressive house sort of uh, stab sound, um, but it also gets played a lot in the, the lower frequencies as well uh, with some reverb and delay. So if you open a new sound on Massive, then the first thing I tend to do is choose the waveform. And in this case, I've got a smooth square, which is essentially a square wave, uh, but with lesser harmonics and then I bring the intensity right down and center the uh, wavetable position. And if you double click it, it'll just go straight to the center like so. And I'll give you a quick preview of that. So as you can tell, it's completely different so far. The uh, next thing to do is to change the actual uh, formant of the wave into a formant wave uh, that just adds some spectral harmonics essentially and then across at the filter you can change that to a scream filter bring the cutoff down to zero the scream down to zero and the resonance at around 25 percent so there's a, a little amount of resonance on there and then assign the cutoff to modulation one so it's going to be envelope one and drag that all the way up so that down here in the envelope filter this is essentially what's um, modulating that filter so once the cutoff of the filter has been assigned to modulation one you're basically controlling the ADSR values of the envelope down here uh, there's only a couple of small changes to this that, that I tend to make. I tend to bring the attack so it's a, a short, sharp attack. And then the actual uh, level of the sustain down quite a fair amount. Um, and I'll bring the decay down as well so it's a bit shorter. Um, I tend to just bring the S loop down, although it's not actually assigned at the moment. And then the release so it's off somewhat and if I just strike a few chords or notes then you can hear it's already having that effect of, of a pluck effect and the reason for that is because um, it's essentially uh, you're automating the cutoff so as I trigger the cutoff of the filter is is sliding straight up and then having a short uh, decay with a, a low level of sustain Uh, while you're in this uh, envelope modulation section, it's also worth, if you want to add a bit of liveliness uh, to the notes, um, although at the moment I'm just using the uh, QWERTY keyboard to trigger the notes, um, if you adjust this velocity slider, what happens is it tends to adjust the amount that the, uh, the cutoff is affected by this envelope. Um, depending on the amount of velocity on the keys. So it just means that if you're playing it um, using a, a, a MIDI keyboard with uh, velocity sensitive notes, then it, it just adds a bit more, a bit more uh, life to the notes themselves. Um, and then the f one of the final things then is to hit on the insert one. If you switch that on and change it to the parabolic shaper, and just bring the drive down so it just gives it an extra bit of um, essentially clipping almost I guess it's a saturation on the on the mid to high end um, 
and you've got yourself what sounds like a fairly plucky note and then what I tend to do is add a small amount of reverb um, but with a large size and high colour and just bring that down slightly and then for extra effect I tend to go for a delay synced and again bring the dry wet right down and now that is essentially the sound you're looking for and it sounds like this and then if you add in some drum beats then that's the sound so I hope you find the pack of some use. It's available through loopmasters.com where I'll be launching my own brand, uh, Quantum Loops. And if you've got any questions about the pack or any future packs uh, or any requests about packs you want, then please hit me up, find me on uh, Facebook or Twitter or whatever tickles you fancy. Cheers. Thank you.